guys, it's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back and I've got my Magical Earth for October 2021. So if you guys are new to my channel, hello and welcome. On my channel I like to do witchy subscription unboxings as well as one self-care subscription box, tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. And today, excuse my froggy voice, I am sick. I've been sick for like almost a week now. I have not gone to the doctor or tried to figure out what's wrong with me because um, since I'm a nurse, I don't like to go to the doctor. <laughs> like I just don't want to waste my time. Not that it's a waste of time, I don't mean like that. But I work too much and I don't have time to go to the doctor. So anyways, we'll just see. I may have to go see one on my next day off. All right, so let's jump into our magical earth. My uh, loyal subscriber Cheryl, hi Cheryl, said that this box is beautiful, so I'm excited. So right on top we have some black paper and it has a little sticker that's got like Halloween-y looking stuff on it. All right, get all my, oh gosh, just lots of, pa lots of papers. Okay, so it says, and I think that they, their boxes run like astrologically. So it says October 22nd to November 21st. So that is um, Scorpio season. This month we celebrate the final harvest, Samhain, Halloween, our ancestors, and a new year. We honor our ancestors on All Hallows' Eve. Take a moment to remember them. Manifesting your desire is our main focus this month. Ask yourself, what is it you want to manifest in the coming year? Enjoy the contents this month. We put a lot of love in making these, especially for you. And I'm not going to look at the rest because it'll tell me what's in there. And then I've got, um, what is this? It's like a, oh, I don't know. Is this supposed to be something? <laughs> it's like one of those things that you peel off. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it was just in there for, I guess we'll find out. All right, so then I get a little packet, and this is like our astrological um, information for the month. Um, and okay, so I'm Aquarius, so when you sign up for this box, you tell them what your um, what your birthday is, and then they give you your horoscope. So I've got my Aquarius horoscope in here for the month, and let me move all this stuff over here. And then my card is the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, ma'am. I would enjoy that. So, and then there's the backs of that card. So Ten of Pentacles is usually about inheritance. Um, like, like it normally depicts like a family, but it's also like generations. Um, and it's about, Pentacles are about money, uh, career, that type of thing. And it's kind of the white picket fence, but uh, like I said, it also includes like, like generations. So, um, a lot of times it could mean like an inheritance or something like that. So anyways, sorry, I'm fuzzy and I'm having a hard time here. <laughs> All right. So then we have rice and it is dyed green. It says prosperity, protection, security, and money. So there's that. You can see the rice in there. Let me see if it says anything about it. Does it not? There's like a bunch of, um, oh, okay, okay, all right. There's a bunch of little papers here. I need to circle back around. Okay, so first off, they did give me like a little card about the Ten of Pentacles, and it says, as a Ten, the Ten of Pentacles is such a great sign that despite challenges and setbacks along the way, you will finally reach a point of completion and accomplishment in your journey. This sense of accomplishment is likely to be as a result of an improved career path, more solid financial reserves, a stable home environment, and a possible committed and long-term relationship. This is one of those cards that shows that everything will eventually come together in a wonderful way and you will feel highly successful and proud of everything you have achieved. You will also feel compelled to share this success with others to ensure that they are also well cared for. Does that mean I'm going to win the lottery? I've already told people that I would give them money if I won, like, the big lottery. That'd be great. I should have bought a ticket. Okay. Um, this card reflects 
permanence and creating a lasting foundation for future success. It is a card of commitment to a sustainable future, taking into consideration not just the short-term benefits of a particular venture, but also the long-term benefits. It is about investing in the long term and knowing that you need a consistent approach in order to achieve success that will last the test of time. Okay, so this is actually um, really on target. So um, as you guys know, I have this YouTube channel and then I also have my um, my Etsy store that's got my witchy stuff in it. Um, I also have a witchy store that I make bath bombs and I also, not a witchy store, I have a bath bomb uh, Etsy store. I have another Etsy store that I make custom invitations. So, <laughs> um, all of that together, um, I am trying to build kind of a legacy, which is great with the Ten of Pentacles, because to me it is about um, legacy because it's about generations. Um, because I'm wanting to be able to pass things on to my kids, right? Um, I don't know if they want to be a part of this, <laughs> but if I can build my business enough where I can employ a couple of my kids, um, that would be great, you know what I mean? And then they can be involved and um, and I'll feel that I can leave them something, you know, when I pass that um, can sustain them. So anyways, we'll see what happens. So then, yes, this is like a scrying mirror. So it says, please take off the brown peel on each side. I guess we could go ahead and do that. That's what it looked like I needed to peel this off. Um, I don't really have nails. Okay. Woo. Woo. So I'm sure it's the same on the other side. So I'll start reading this while I try to peel this. It says, put this up here. There are many uses for a scrying mirror. I encourage you to research if you would like to expand your experience. These include, but are not limited to, amplifying, scrying to other realms, banishing, defense, to name a few. I hope this opens a wonderful journey for those that are drawn to learning more. Our reason for including is to enhance your intention jar. I guess we have an intention jar. Your mirror is provided to increase the strength and potential of the energy that you are directing towards your jar. This is your energy amplifier. Set it up next to where you're working on your intention jar. So, yeah, it's the same on both sides. Little scrying mirror. Fun! I don't have a scrying mirror. Yay! Okay, put that over here. I don't know what to get next. Okay. Next, we have a crazy lace agate. They give you a little informational card in there, and it comes in this bag. There is my new baby. All right, put him up there. It says, we choose this stone to wish each of you much happiness in the coming year. As we celebrate the turning of the wheel, may each of you find that happiness inside. It can help you overcome negativity and bitterness of the heart by healing anger, fostering love, and lending us the courage to start over. It is the perfect stone at the perfect time of year, from our heart to yours. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Now we have this little bag, and it looks like it has different types of ribbons in it. I'm assuming maybe it has something to do with, um, yeah, for our jar. It just says ribbon for use in decorating your jar. So I've got um, this. Let's see if I can. Oh my gosh, it's really hard to. There we go. You can see it's sparkly. And then we have some just um, twine. We've got some gold looking stripey ribbon and then we have some more like sparkly and then we have some like leaf looking ribbon very nice i'll put it back in my thingamabobber that's another word of mine if you guys have never heard of thingamabobber oh my god i'm so froggy <laughs> Alright, alright. Oh. So we have another little bag. And it says it's a triple goddess obsidian. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at this guy. Nice. A stone that can... Oh. 
Okay, there's stuff on both sides. A stone that can help you regain your courage to persevere. With the new year approaching, we want you to have stones that can help you navigate all the obstacles ahead. Find your light in the darkness. It enables you to notice support that you may have missed that could help you. Allow yourself to relax and let yourself be supported. Overall, a stone of insight, resilience, very powerful for protection and grounding. And then it talks about the triple goddess. So the maiden, this is represented by the waxing moon. It is a symbol of youth, purity, pleasure, new beginnings, wildness, freedom, and innocence. As a spiritual symbol, the maiden is an invitation to explore spirituality. If y'all don't know what the waxing moon is, the waxing moon is the moon as it's getting bigger. So <laughs> I always think of the Karate Kid could be um, stating my age here, and I'm talking about Karate Kid like circa 1990s or 1980 something. Um, I mean, I'm 40, almost 46, so whatever. I don't give a shit. Uh, so I always think of when he is waxing the cars, wax on as you wax on, it's getting bigger. Okay. So waxy moon as it's growing. Okay. Wax on. Okay. Then we have the mother. The mother is represented by the full moon. The mother symbolizes love, fertility, maturity, sexuality, abundance, growth, and creativity. And then the crone this is the wise woman represented by the waning moon. It wanes. It gets smaller. Um, this phase embodies both the previous stages, including courage, independence, freedom. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I just drank that monster and I'm getting all burpy. Freedom, sexuality, fertility, creative energy, and culmination. Cool. I'm going to put it back in its little baggie because I'm probably going to pack this up. Um... I mean, I am going to pack this up because y'all know I'm moving. I have a move-in day, guys. I am getting the keys on the 27th of this month. So what is today? The 18th? Ah, like nine days. Is that right? Yeah, nine days. If my foggy brain can figure out math. If I can math today. <laughs> um, so I get my keys, but I have to work that night and the next night. So probably before work, I'll be like running things over there. But then that weekend, I am going to bang it the fuck out. That sounds really dirty. I'm not going to get dirty with my new apartment. I mean, I might do some dirty things there with my boyfriend. But, okay, I digress. Moving along. <laughs> I'm going to get my shit all in there that weekend. And hopefully, um, you guys will see me, like, the first week of November in my new apartment. Um, and then I need to figure out like getting all my boxes back because like I said, I had canceled like several of them to, um, to, uh, because I'm moving, you know. All right. So then we have this, um, little jar that's got goodies in here. There's, um, Oh, there's the little money. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Okay. So it looks like we have some red Jasper, there's like red jasper chips and maybe, uh, this, I don't know. It's, it looks like green calcite, but maybe it's, it doesn't really look like amazonite. Not amazonite. I didn't mean to say that. Um, fuck. What am I trying to say? It looks, it looks like green calcite. But the word that I was trying to think of in my foggy brain right now, um, oh, I think there's a citrine chip. Uh, what am I trying to think of, guys? Not Amazonite. Um, okay, well, we'll read the thing and, and we'll see what happens. It looks like there may be some, um, this looks like a little baby pyrite. It's hard to see. Um, and I think that I see some uh, carnelian in here. Sorry, it's hard to hold up these little baby chips. Okay, then we have like a Chinese coin. Here, let me try to do this. We have like a little Chinese coin. Ooh, and then we have a dollar dollar bill, y'all. It's a hundred dollar bill, a hundred dollar bill. We have a turtle. Are they telling me it's slow and steady? It's a sea turtle, though. I wonder what that stands for. Then we have a um, lotus flower charm, a horseshoe. 
I'm excited about this. We have the Hamsa with the evil eye. And then we have a dollar sign. Oh yeah, y'all. Trying to manifest some shit up in who? <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> okay, let's figure this out. Oh. Burr -der 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 -der. I don't know. I don't know that it says anything about it. Okay. Well, all right. To be continued. We'll come back. Oh, look, we got a little baby spoon. We got a little wooden spoon. I love these little baby spoons. They're so friggin' cute. I wonder if it says anything in here. Um, oh, a hand, a wooden hand burned spoon. It just says handmade by our very own local artist. And then I guess I found Where'd it go? Herbs and charms. We've included several for you. Use the ones that resonate with your intention. Cool. Then we have a cinnamon stick. Cinnamon is great for, um, well, it's great for a lot of things, but um, I want to smell it. I can't smell. I don't know if it doesn't smell or if it's because I'm sick. <laughs> Anyways, cinnamon is good for um, money manifestation, but also for love. Okay. And then we have a black candle. It's got a weird slant to the top of it, but anyways, we have a black candle. All right. And then, ooh, I have another bag with a Lapidolite little slab. Ooh, look at this guy. Hopefully my lighting and my lighting is kind of weird over there. Oh, girl. Okay, Lapidolite, which I've said before, Lapidolite um, has lithium in it, so it is a mood stabilizer. Lithium is a is a drug that's prescribed um, for stabilizing the mood. Okay, so anyways, uh, this is a wonderful stone for promoting joy, gratitude, and self-love, yet all in an extremely calm and serene way. The quiet contentment afforded by Lapidolite crystal makes it very easy to connect better with your higher self or overall spiritual side. Lapidolite clears electromagnetic pollution and should be placed on computers to absorb the emanations. Oh, okay. Lapidolite dissipates negativity, activates and opens the throat. I hope it opens my throat chakra because my throat hurts. Heart, third eye, and crown chakras. It clears blockages and brings cosmic awareness this stone aids in sh uh, shamanistic or spiritual journeys. This stone encourages feelings of independence from all forms of neediness. It detoxifies emotions, bringing calm and reducing dependency on others for emotional well-being. It is soothing for personality disorders, psychosomatic, and psychological illnesses. It helps to overcome emotions that restrict you from doing what you really want in life. Lapidolite calms fear, releases fears one at a time for you to view and let go. It opens and clears old, outmoded fears, heals damage from psychic attacks, and protects against psychic draining. Very nice. I need that right now. Ah, oh, very nice. All right. I think. All right. So then we have dandelion root, and it says courage, bravery, confidence, transformation. We've got um, lemongrass for love. Protection, luck, and healing. We have spearmint. Very nice. And then, I'm assuming this is our intention jar. <laughs> for the next 10 minutes, you guys are going to hear bubble wrap. Okay. And so we have our little intention jar and it's got a, um, like silicone stopper. Uh, okay, cool. So I can wrap some of that ribbon around here. I can put in whatever herbs, whatever little charms and dish it out with my spoon. And then, you know what? I'm actually going to be using, so I actually like to use tarot cards in my spells. So, 
um, a lot of times when I do spells, I will pick the tarot card that embodies the intention that I'm looking for and creating a legacy for my fam, um, building something that they can be sustainable from is really what I'm trying to do, right? So, um, this is going to go with this. Okay, guys, what do you think of this box? I think it's a really great box. I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to have to wait to do this intention jar and spell until I move. I'm going to be doing all kinds of fun things once I move. <sighs> all right. Okay, let me stop putting things away and just speak to y'all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening to me and my froggy voice and um, me being ADD. I appreciate y'all so much. And um, hopefully you'll stick around and, and not abandon me while I kind of make this little transition and try to figure out exactly what I want to do with myself and my channel and um, get myself into my new place. So yeah, thanks guys. If you wouldn't leave me, wouldn't mind leaving me a comment below what you think of this box. What is your favorite item? Honestly, well, the Lapidolite little slab guy is fab. But all of this together for an intention jar is super cool. I really, really enjoy this box. Um, thank you, Cheryl. Uh, my friend Cheryl on here, she was the one that recommended this box to me. I really do like it. It's a really great box. So, um, and if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment and a thumbs up really helps to boost my channel. Like I said, when I reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway. I have like so much stuff over there in the corner. Um, that I'll be giving to you guys. I'm not chintzy. I'm also going to give you guys things from my store. Stores, plural. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks again, guys. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.